Is it is it cool being down here? Because I know you you live down here, and then having the Super Bowl here. How cool is that for you? Um. Well, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, like th this is not like my my actual home. Okay. You know, I'm I'm a New Yorker. Yes. But like you know. You know, all my people just like from Atlanta, my husband, my brothers and everything. And they're just like very excited. It's just like a big holiday out here. And I know you said before that you and you, you and the husband are back together now, you work everything out? We're working things out. Okay. Working things out. Work in progress. Work in progress. I yeah. gotta congratulate you because you're you're breaking barriers, you're doing so much for the culture of the people, but the, the, the Vegas residency is a big thing. I, I know, I, I see, like, you know, it's like everybody's like making it such a big deal and I'm like, oh my God, I'm scared. <laughs> Are you scared? I, I always get get scared if I, if I haven't experienced something first. So you excited about it? I'm excited because it's like, it's, it's a fun, good city and it's like, you know, it's different people every single day and they're gonna come see me. <laughs> <laughs> when you talked about the government shutdown, people were all like, did you, did you realize it would have that much of a reaction from people? No, I didn't because it's just like something that is like, you know what I didn't understand? Like it's like people were saying like, oh, all of a sudden you, she thinks she's so smart. And it's like, this is not about being smart. You, you, this is like something that you could watch the news and you could understand. I heard that the, uh, the Polk County Democrats in Iowa have invited you in May to speak that you're gonna be doing a show in, my, in Iowa. Would you ever consider going out and and talking? That would really scare me, but I, I wouldn't mind. I would talk just how I would talk. I don't care if anybody who, who's, who anybody who's there, if a curse word gonna come out, it's gonna come out, but I'm gonna talk the way that I know that my people gonna wanna hear and gonna relate to, and, and get entertained, you know? I feel like people look at things that entertain them, so if I could, talk about what's going on in America with a little bit of entertainment, why not? Because some people don't really want to watch the news too because they don't really understand what's going on. Do you know that America reading level is on a fourth grade level? Mm. Vocabulary le level is like on a fourth grade level. That's bad. So it's like, you know, I, I've, been seeing, I've been seeing like a lot of politicians like they use these big fancy words. A lot of people don't understand what you're saying. So I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna break it down. I see a political future. I know Cory Booker just just put it out. You know, no, Stacey, no, never. no. That no, because Cardi 2020. You know, no, no. I think it worked for Trump because he has a lot of money. So I think that's why it worked out for him. I don't think it's because his experience or anything because mm -hmm. he don't have any. What was it like when they started coming at you and you said that you were like, yeah, I'll dog walk you. Y'all yeah, need to understand that your president is ruining the country that you love, but you're so blinded by your racist mind that you don't see it. Speaking about that racism, um, Jesse Smollett was just attacked in Chicago. Your, your thoughts on what happened to him? It's crazy. And you want to know something? These are things that's ha that happen every mm -hmm. single day. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.